Hey guys, it's Doom Mustaka back with you again for another New Mustaka video. Uh, there's still a few more days in July to use the code WITTY for 2% off anything at the coin connection. So today's video is going to be a showcase of some of the new Royal Mint coins that have been released over the last few weeks that have come in. And uh, let's start right now by taking a look at the Prince Philip uh, Memorial coin. So the coin that you're seeing here is the, um, the basic one. Well, it's not quite the basic one, but it's the basic silver edition. So it's um, the coin with the highest mintage and it shows the base level design. And I have to say base level design because the Royal Mint are now dividing their releases into two types of coin, one with a basic version of the design and one with enhanced minting technology. Uh, and they're usually then releasing those enhanced coins a little bit later, uh, almost getting you know two lots of releases for each major release. So uh, let's take a look at this coin. Live, so he participated in the design process and he's always taken a great interest in coin design uh, at the Royal Mint and was chairman of the Royal Mint committee uh, that uh, determined coin releases and designed designs for uh, a fairly large time, I think something like 20 25 years. So, a large amount of his life he was connected with the Royal Mint. Um, so this coin, I think it's um, it's a really nice design. Uh, I think uh, you know it's gone down pretty well in the coin community, and uh, there are lots of different versions of this coin. So you've got uh, two ounce pied fort, enhanced, uh, regular, and so on and so forth. So one for everybody um, who's interested in getting one of these coins to commemorate uh, Prince Philip's amazing life. In my last video, I asked the question, are coins an investment? And uh, I got a ton of responses from you guys. So thank you very much for all of the amazing comments. Uh, and I plan to make another video just reviewing those comments and uh, seeing what, uh, what your conclusions are. And uh, there's lots of interesting information in those comments to do with the, the various personal motivations that a number of you have for collecting coins. Um, and it's an interesting subject, I think, one of the more interesting ones that I've done recently on the channel. So we're gonna have a look at it. Are coins an investment? Are they just a hobby? Are they savings? Are they a hedge? Uh, we asked all those questions and got a, a load of responses. So please do watch out for the, uh, the part two for the are coins an investment video on the channel. Uh, sometime next as uh, one of the next few videos. So uh, yeah, thank you very much for that. But moving on, I want to take a look at another very exciting new release that uh, came to me for grading. And um, this one is one that you may very well not have seen in other places. Um, there are very few of these around and it is a coin that was never really officially sold by the Royal Mint. So it's one of these coins that you won't have seen on the Royal Mint website. You can see here from the box that it is part of the uh, Queen's Beast Completer series. But this particular one is very distinctive because it is the two ounce gold proof Queen's Beast Completer. So uh, this was a special edition of coin produced 
for a private um, a private arrangement between the dealer, uh, I think one of the main dealers, and the Royal Mint. And as usual with some of these things, a few are held back by the Mint for, um, for resale, but they're not really sold generally. So this is one of those very off-the-radar editions that uh, I've got real pleasure now in presenting to you and showing you on YouTube for the first time. So like the other Queen's Beast editions, you have the, uh, the book covering all the different Queen's Beast uh, heraldic representations, and they're all on this one coin, the Completer series. Um, the actual original Queen's Beast statues were uh, presented to the Queen and on show for the coronation uh, in front of Westminster Abbey. I think they're now in a museum somewhere, but I forget which one it is. So this is number 81, and what is critical about this is the limited edition presentation and the maximum coin mintage on this coin are 100, and it, ha it contains 62.42 grams of gold, uh, 40 millimetres. Uh, it's a big coin. Um, people love these two-ounce gold coins, and they love them for grading as well because they fit in a regular NGC slab. Anything under 45 millimetres fits into the regular slab. So this coin has a lot of presents. Um, it's not as big and expensive as the 5-ounce one, which was sold by the Royal Mint directly. And uh, it's got a lot more presents than the also very beautiful and desirable 1-ounce gold coin. Limited edition, um, unobtainable coin, um, delightful to have it in front of me to show you guys. Legal tender to the value of £200. Uh, not that anybody would ever want to go into a shop and pay their grocery bill with one of these coins. And probably, you know, the, the fools on the checkouts would not take it in any case. Uh, more fool them. Uh, I would certainly take it if I was on a checkout in a supermarket. But, uh, but yeah, there you go. I think this is one of the nicest designs the Royal Mint have produced. Uh, Jodie Clark design, both sides. It's just a real little masterpiece, I think. And you know, the Queen's Beast series has been incredibly popular, but uh, some of the versions available in this series are brilliant collector's coins. And I think these are going to be highly sought after in the secondary market. I uh, don't know how sought after yet, but I think they're going to go down really, really well. Uh, two of these have come across my desk so far out of the 100, and they've both been sent off to um, NGC for first releases grading, and they'll both end up with the, um, the Royal Celebration label on them. So let's move forward to another special Royal Mint coin, and this one is the slightly off the radar um, music legends coin. I say slightly off the radar because the the market sentiment changed a little bit between the Elton John coin and the David Bowie coin. Um, the Royal Mint increased slightly the mintages and it also was timed with kind of COVID uh, becoming you know slightly less housebound for people. And I think that um, these coins could do pretty well for the future because a lot of the people who bought the earlier ones maybe got a little bit bored with the series after, um, you know, or before Bowie and maybe for this one. But actually, these could end up being highly desirable. So this one is the two ounce one, uh, 200 pound legal tender. It's the enhanced, all the two ounce ones are enhanced minting. And you can see here, you've got the sound waves coming out the speaker at the back of these. And uh, this one is actually this is exactly the same thing. You can, I think you can see on this one, the special minting technology, even giving a clearer picture. Uh, I think this is, this is a bit of a, a masterpiece in, in minting uh, technology, really. Uh, so the Royal Mint have shown great care on this. And you can see as you hold it into the light at different angles, it's like the sound waves come out of that speaker at the back and uh, it's a pretty clever coin. The five ounce, the price from the Royal Mint for this coin is just under £12,000. 
not very many of them minted. And, uh, you know, I don't know, I think probably um, this one is a bit of a sleeper in a way because uh, most of the people who bought the five ounce versions of the previous music legends may very well have run out of cash by the time this one came out and may not have bought this one in the same way, but time will tell. So lots of interesting, beautiful new releases that you may not have seen in other places. Hope you're enjoying the videos and the channel. If you are, please do like and very important and helps the channel if you subscribe as well.